Hey Rockbags, it's Jade. A bunch of you guys are having problems placing items and build pieces down. Well, don't worry, Grounded and Obsidian know about it. They've been tweeting and saying they're looking into it. Hopefully they're going to arrive with an update to fix it. Thing is though, with Nintendo and Switch now, updates might take a bit longer. The fact was that when it was just Xbox and PC, Grounded would often get hot fixes for any issues relatively quick. And overall, over four years, Grounded pretty much done a great job of fixing any problems. According to them, this issue affects anything with large objects nearby. So if you've been building a treehouse and suddenly can't place anything, that is why. I was going to do a short about it, but I wanted to talk about the bugs and issues. And just reassure people, I'm sure Obsidian are going to get back on it with this stuff. They've said that ongoing, they're going to be doing quality of life stuff. Obviously, we had a bit of a balance change with 1.4.2. But from my comments alone, and I've been taking a look through the Discord, there's definitely a lot more people having issues at the moment. And this is kind of not like Obsidian. They've normally been so good at making sure we don't have issues because they've had public test servers in the past. So moving with this update to be a surprise and launching it on PlayStation and Switch and stuff, then yeah, that obviously meant there wasn't a test beta for it this time. Other bugs, notable ones that I've seen repeatedly come up in the last few days since the update is ones where your pet is still being attacked by your summons. So that pretty much means you're not doing enough damage to enemies because they're still trying to take on your pet. So you might want to put your pet away until you see it's resolved. I'm not 100% convinced that the raid bug has been fixed as well. There was invincible bugs and they were appearing anytime you were raided or in waft emitters. Now the patch notes say waft emitter has been fixed. You shouldn't have any infinite creatures anymore. So let me know, have you been raided recently? Were there any infinite creatures since the 1.4.2 update? And I've seen a few various other small bugs and issues a lot of you guys are reporting. So yeah, like I said, it's not usually the case with Obsidian. They're really on it normally. But certification for PlayStation, Switch and Xbox now does mean we might be waiting a bit longer. Hotfixes can take up to maybe eight hours, sometimes a couple of days. Otherwise, updates that might change stuff like the balancing patch, they probably are going to take two or three weeks from now on. I know as well immediate feedback from a lot of you guys and I did kind of mention this in my video refresh on looking at the new weapons in New Game Plus. Some of you are really not happy that the most unique weapons that we've got, the new ones like Frosted Flake, now kind of have just weak source maybe attributes on it. A lot of you are saying that you would have preferred to if they just switched stuff around and some of the more unique weapons definitely kept or had something a little bit more sexier. I've got to say, I agree. Like I said, I showcased a bunch of these in a video recently. I know they were trying to balance stuff and I can see why they want to balance it to make New Game Plus 4 weapons the best weapons. Because at the moment, you can get some of the best weapons in New Game Plus 1 and you won't really need anything else. But again, this is a big issue in not having a PTB or test server because this stuff would have been picked up, would have been fixed and it wouldn't have been such a big deal because only a small portion of players would have been affected. Everyone that's gone and done New Game Plus has got used to some of the weapons with their attributes and stuff. So I don't blame you for being salty that maybe your fusion crystals and stuff have kind of been a waste in upgrading certain weapons. Now, I'm not saying they were aliens, but I have had a tinfoil hat on. It could be argued that the D-Duper bug at the moment, where you can get as much D-Duper jelly as you want, just by simply going ahead and using a D-Duper at a field station and making sure the actual trinket is in your equip section, you'll notice that you keep the trinket, but you get a ton of the jelly and you don't have to fast forward or skip. It will still work. It just has to be the field station. It should work on any trinket, but obviously the tier 3 trinkets give you the most amount of the Duper Jelly. Although if you're in New Game Plus 4 and you've got some infused weapons, it will work on them as well. They just have to be equipped in that bottom bar rather than in your inventory and you'll get 10 D Duper Jelly instead of just whatever you would get to get rid of one of the trinkets. So yeah, there's trade-offs here. Some things have gone a bit wrong, but hey, at least we can keep pretty much making as much de-duper jelly as you want and that will help craft a lot more trinkets. And in fact, if you've got the sausager unlocked, then you can pretty much go and just keep re-rolling as many trinkets as you want just by crafting them at the sausager. Go and check out my video where I explain how the sausager works, but basically if you infect all of the ant queens, you'll be able to craft tier 3 trinkets, which are the heel bassa or the glow bassa necklaces. 
These will have three perks in them, and obviously the tier two ones will have two, tier one will have one. So you can take maybe either infused weapons, or you can take some of your trinkets, go ahead and dedupe them at a field station once they're equipped in your hotbar, and then go ahead with all that extra jelly that you've acquired, go and start rolling it on your sausager to get infinite amount of trinkets to hopefully get the roll that you want with the right kind of stats. I think I'll probably do a longer video on this just to see what kind of rolls we get if we get any god rolls. And if you haven't got to the stage where you've infected all three ant queens, that's not such a big deal. At least you'll be able to get some good rolls on tier 1 or tier 2 trinkets, which will be better than trying to get it from killing certain bugs. Remember, you can only get tier 3 cones, or bigger chance of them at least, in New Game Plus 1, by 5% killing Black Ox Beetles. You may get a few here and there from others, but a Black Ox Beetle with that 5% is the most in New Game Plus 1. I've already covered some of the other percentages, so go and check out that rest of that video I did as well. So yes, big downsides at the moment with bugs and issues, but on the plus side, with this unintended issue with being able to get lots of dedupe jelly, it does hopefully make things a bit easier. Report your issues, jump on the website on the Grounded Obsidian forums, or join Discord and I've got special channels where you can report your bugs and fill out the form. Chris was a guest on my live stream, he's in charge of player support and he said he's had a thousand bugs to get through. So I don't really want to overload him anymore, but we've got to kind of make sure we're getting as many of the wrong or the right bugs through so they'll fix in the next patch. Let's help Obsidian make Grounded great again by getting some of this fixed and then we can start talking about maybe reinstalling some of the perks on the weapons that we really want. Until next time Rockbags, I'll be here with more news about any updates, gameplay and guides. Latest.